Let's get started. Thank you all for coming here today. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ho Bong Kwan from Samsung Research. I work for Tizen. But enough about me. I would like you to think of a number in your mind. 200 million. Can you take a wild guess what this number means? It is the number of Tizen devices all across the world. Allow me to state it again. 200 million devices. According to a report from Strategy Analytics, Tizen is the largest streaming platform in 2020. Amazing, right? This presentation consists of five highlighted sessions. The first part is about Tizen's recent move. And Ms. Shin, a colleague of mine, will introduce Tizen's image creator and UI framework enhancement. After that, I will showcase Tizen's new multi-device experience framework. Last but not least, I will close with the floral for Tizen. This year marks 10-year anniversary since Tizen 1.0 was introduced. Ever since its inception, Tizen has consistently evolved in order to adopt diverse devices over a decade. Now, I will explain four main strengths of Tizen 6.5. First and foremost, Tizen 6.5 is powerful and stable platform. After applied to a host of products, enhancing features and modifying errors for a decade, all those efforts enabled Tizen to be a highly stable platform as we see today. Furthermore, Tizen 6.5 achieved to connect more devices and create intelligent services on those connected devices. New multi-device experience frameworks are introduced in Tizen 6.5. On top of that, Tizen app development becomes easier and more familiar by introducing new popular cross-platform framework, Flutter for Tizen. We are also enhancing previously introduced .NET and web with new updates. Finally, we made Tizen 6.5 more flexible and adaptable to IoT devices. With the enhanced Tizen image creator, you can create custom Tizen image with just a few clicks. Tizen is expanding its horizon in the area of IoT devices. Compliance program for Tizen IoT has been defined, and hardware companies such as Dynasys, SDT, and software companies such as Pfizer and Nubison are one of the members of Tizen IoT ecosystem, to name a few. Hi, I'm Hyunju Shin. I'm really excited to show you great new features on Tizen. Tizen provides various profiles such as TV, mobile phones, and IoT. If you want to create an efficient platform with only the features you want, you can use Tizen Image Creator. It provides more than 450 pre-built building blocks you can combine these blocks to build a desired platform quickly. The Tizen Image Creator is provided in the form of a Docker image, so custom image creation system can be built on your PC with very simple commands. Let's create the image for an IoT camera. As you can see, the building blocks are grouped in the three form. First, select an IoT headless group to add the camera device, find the multimedia API group, and select camera. You can check the final image size in the summary field. Finally, request to create an image suitable for your device. That's all. It's so easy. The internal structure of the platform image has been improved by completely separating the hardware-dependent implementations it offers a new, independently maintainable structure. This new image system makes it possible to upgrade only the platform part. Conversely, when migrating to a new device, it is possible to upgrade only the hull and kernel area independently. This can dramatically reduce the product development cost. Next, Let's talk about Tizen's user interface. And UI is UI toolkit for building rich applications even on low-end IoT devices. It provides intuitive C-Sharp APIs 
and you can easily extend features and styles as you want. It will be released as Tizen's official native UI for even easier development. In fact, an UI is widely used in Tizen-based Samsung products already. You can add interactive animations and seamless transition effects in your NUI applications. Vector animation has been enhanced. The advantage of live animation is it can interact with users. It also provides animation mixing and runtime customization. Seamless transition interface has been added. You don't need to create animations to make transition effects. NUI provides continuous and seamless experience during switching scenes automatically. The biggest advantage of NUI is it's based on a 3D graphics engine. There is no need to use external libraries or engines to display 3D. UI elements are rendered on a single plane as a default, but they are already operating in 3D space. Go ahead and experiment with NUI and see what you can come up with. We have added a UI automation framework for web and native applications. It provides programmatic access to UI elements and manipulate the UI by means other than the standard input. You can make automated UI test scripts using the Tizen UI automation system. Mr. Kwon will continue with the rest of the presentation. Thank you. Tizen 6.5 introduced four new multi-device experience frameworks. Let's take a look at one at a time. The Advanced Companion Framework facilitates multi-device app development, providing interactive communication among devices in a local network. For example, the AI Embedded Freeze can recommend recipes to provide a healthy yet convenient meal out of the available ingredients from the leftover food. The members of family receive the recipes on their phones and select one by voting, hence a fun moment for entire family. Next, AI Inference Offloading Service Framework enables low-end IoT devices to provide AI services without cloud network connection. For example, if you want to provide AI-based home training service on TV with low computing power, you can make it happen with the help of AI Inference Offloading Framework. The TV locates the best device in a local network to be used for AI service and transmit the trained AI model to the target high-end device. After that, a sequence of image data captured by a camera on TV is sent to the destination device to request inference. The high-end device executes inference based on the received model and image data and relates the result to the TV device. Through this seamless process, Real-time AI services can effortlessly reach out to even low-end IoT devices. Next one is application offloading framework, which include computation and resource offloading. With computation offloading, calculation-intensive code blocks can be executed on a remote device, and as a result, it achieves faster response time. With resource offloading, even if your application requires a resource, not available in your device, you don't need to panic. Let's see how it works in the demo. This demo will show you how a video call can be made possible on a TV without a camera with the help of application offloading framework. A user launches Google Duo application on TV. Unfortunately, there is no camera on this TV. Thus, application offloading framework will locate all the devices with a camera in the local network and a user select one from the list of devices identified, and now the user can enjoy the Google Duo on TV using the camera on a remote device. Finally, UI offering framework provides a way to create host app and remote app as one companion web application. A web server is running on a host device and provides web content to a remote device. A remote app can be used as supplementary UI to the host app for user convenience. Let's see how it works in the next demo. First, 
a user opens a browser on a remote device and tries to connect to host TV app with a URL. Now, you can see a UI of a summarized TV home screen on mobile device, and you select one from the menu. This opens a list of delicious food videos. Let us play a video of chocolate. Now, let us see on a bigger screen. Also, you can use a remote app as an input device for a TV app. You can draw something, time message, or share SNS contact on mobile device to host TV apps. Just like that. You can create exciting multi-device experience applications with our upcoming 6.5 SDK. Now, Flutter is one of the most popular cross-platform frameworks, and it can run on many OSs such as Android, iOS, Windows, Linux, Mac, and now we introduce Flutter to Tizen by Flutter Tizen. With Flutter Tizen, app developers can deploy faster, get native performance, and easily port Flutter apps from other platform to Tizen. We implemented Tizen Embedder in order to connect Tizen platform with the Flutter engine, as well as plugin support for native capabilities, such as battery, connectivity, video player, web view, and more. Flutter Tizen supports developer tools for performance analysis and debugging. It also includes Hot Reroute, one of convenient tools for app developers. Developers can use Flutter Tizen command to create applications on Tizen TV devices or emulators. It also added Tizen TV specific features. For example, focus management by remote control, automatic screen size adaptation, and video plugin using high performance video plane. Flutter Tizen provides a new way for third party developers to create beautiful Tizen application easily. Ultimately, I'd like to restate that Tizen has continuously evolved and will continue to do so to be the best software platform for not only consumer electronics and IoT devices, but also for a new category of future devices, just as we have done over the last decade. We will try harder to expand Tizen ecosystem by open everything to everyone. Thank you for watching.